fellows uh thank you and uh, may god bless you once again for joining me on africa my heritage tv uh this as usual is your boy and your host Kwame, the african child please if this is your first time on this great platform uh, don't forget to hit on the subscription button to uh, become partner to africa my heritage tv and please after subscribing uh, don't also forget to also hit on the uh, notification bell icon if you click on the notification bell icon if you click on the notification bell icon it's going to open a menu or dialog box onto you when the menu pops up please select from the list all notifications doing so would enable you to receive alert on any content i am going to upload on this great platform please under this same video that you may be watching also you are going to see uh, a comment button with the use of the comment button you the cherished subscriber and viewer out there can bring forth your suggestions and opinions to me and me having access to your suggestions and opinions would enable me to also improve on the uh, quality of videos i am going to have for you uh, on this great platform and at the same time i know you also have some anticipations and expectations that drove you to this platform and it is my assignment and responsibility to make sure that at the end of the day you are going to meet all your needs yes so i have to uh make sure you're feeling happy you're feeling safe and secure on this platform so leverage on the comment button to let me know or let me have your opinions to enable me to improve to also make you happy and please share this video to enable you to also go across other social media platforms yes as i said i'm going to uh, grab something and i decided to just record you this short video to enable uh other fellows back in africa to also see some little experience with respect to uh night life in my small city called a federal way in the uh in the state of uh washington yes that is the name of my city it's called federal way in the state of uh washington in usa so you know the greater mission and purpose is still about africa you don't need to be told you know because as the name of the channel signifies we are here for africa we're here to promote africa we are here to see africa developing we're here to see the economies of africa advancing the day that the african economy would be advancing the day that the african economy would be showing signs of recovery will be showing signs of growth is going to be the day that some of us can go silent or can keep can keep quiet but beside the african economy growing or maturing there is no way we can keep silent as africans because as i'm saying as much as we feel proud to have the leverage to be in the country like this to work and to also earn salaries to enable us to uh, make livelihood we feel that sometimes we don't belong here because there is no happiness on this land you see sometimes people deem it as it is money that gives you happiness it is money that guarantees happiness so why is that you saying that you live in america you have access to all the jobs and you do and you get paid and yet you still saying that you're not happy this country has no happiness you see the happiness aspect of this country that is missing is that you see back in africa if even you're having a small or little money because you have access to your families you have access to your friends it is the community and society that you were raised from your infancy you know a lot of people you know how to uh maneuver yourself through the system so you feel so happy you feel so flexible in your own homeland when you have access to money or when you have access to funds or finances you see and as i said with africa our way of living is like uh it's like it's like communal we are like a community kind of people in africa we interrelate with one another you see in africa it's like we belong to one another it's like Af all africans are one we all love one another you see so we just socialize we just make friends simply you see we just uh, get to know people so easily you don't struggle to get close to people in africa you don't struggle to uh find happiness on the african land because on the, on the on the streets of africa happiness is everywhere you see happiness is everywhere but in america but in america the situation is far far different in america 
the situation is far far different in america in america you can have the money you can have access to the fans but here you are lacking the true friends you wouldn't have any friends uh sometimes uh it, the only people that would be available into your life is your own family i'm talking about your wife or your husband or your children here there is nothing like extended family you see, you see, you see abroad or life in america is a place that you can even be with your biological father you can be living in the same apartment or you can be living in the same unit and it can even take a month and you, you wouldn't have the chance to even see your father even weekends you're not going to see your father because it is like technically speaking 24 7 people are working on this land you see and the job system here uh in america has been arranged to to understand that when your father is going to work you the son or daughter will be sleeping and when you also wake wake up to also go to work your father has has arrived back from work and he also be sleeping so technically you can be living with your father in the same place and you, you cannot even see yourself within a week or within months so that is the kind of society or community they've, they've built for us here because this economy or this society is like a place that it's like always you are working to make money and as you make the money you're also going to use the money to pay your bills or to cover your bills you see you see and if you don't work if you don't go to work there is no way you can cover or you can meet your expenses and because of this arrangement that we've been trapped inside they like said we are always struggling and so like we are always it is always pulling our necks it's always it's, it's always pulling our strengths to understand of even uh doing certain things that we ought not to be we ought not to be doing doing certain things that we, even back in africa we wouldn't have done but because here or back in america here we don't have any choice we don't have any options we have to be doing that to keep ourselves going you see to keep ourselves afloat because of how the system has been arranged arranged you see so sometimes if you don't take time to explain uh, issues like this to our fellow africans back home they might think everything is like happiness on this land. no 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 far from it no 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 far from it. you see with respect to jobs or having access to job opportunities i'm saying the the american economy is first class most european economies are first class with respect to jobs and having access to employment opportunities but beside that everything else is like sadness like land of misery land of like death you you barely see people but you cannot talk to them because you don't know them they don't have any association or they don't have any relationship with you so how do you talk to them so that is the kind of system that we are living in here that's the kind of system that we are finding ourselves in that's the kind of system that we are functioning in you see so that is how the american land or most western world or most european country has been built so if you don't know and you are back in africa all that you'll be thinking or you'll be dreaming of the oh a lot of money in america yes yeah, true yes yeah, true it's true i wouldn't lie to you there's a lot of money in america i wouldn't lie to you at all there's a lot of money in america yes i'll I, I be a liar to say we don't have more money in america there's a lot of money here but beside the money that you can also have access to there's a lot of problems that it also comes with that sometimes if you're not strong within if you don't have that uh, mental maturity to be able to manage or to be able to withstand all these situations sometimes you can be and trap inside and by the time that you you realize uh stress or depression has taken over your life so uh fellows at uh, this other side of america that sometimes we also need to tell you it can't always be about the good side it can't always be about the jobs about the uh nice environment about the beautiful sceneries it can't always be about the uh, uh, uh tall or high rise buildings it can't be about the good roads it can't be about the good infrastructure it can't be about the good railway we have to also tell you the other side of america and that's what i'm taking my time to wake up to show you see we go through all this life in america here but yes so we don't give up we keep on pushing to make sure we can get to the desired goal so that when right i'm presenting say we can have some rice fight also come help come back home to also have the best of realization so thank you fellows you god bless you for taking your precious and quality time to be with me through all these minutes of broadcast please don't forget to share this video to enable you to go across other social media platform please like the video if you think the content is pleasing entertaining is also educating you please also recommend africa my heritage tv to all your friends and family and please finally subscribe to become part of this great platform always because i'm always going to make sure i'm going to upload quality videos like this to make you feel happy and will last always on this platform thank you and may god bless you